What is the Internet? It is, in my opinion, the most powerful tool, a human being can have. Because we have access to more knowledge, than all our ancestors combined ever had. That is why I use Google, to evaluate the success of certain motorcycles. And here is what I found, after searching for the BMW R80. Almost 90% of all photographs, are about custom projects. And the ones located on the first page, are usually the most beautiful. That is precisely what you are going to see today. One of the most amazing BMWs R80, we can find in the whole world. This judgment, may not be an absolute truth. But it is probably very near. Welcome. To Racer TV. Extremely simple. Isn't it? But at the same time, you know that there is something different. It may be similar to many other BMW projects. But there is something unusual. This is the work, of Ro Motorcycles, located in Spain. Most of their works are very nice. But this BMW, is definitely my favorite. Very discreet. Excellent material combination. Very well built. And extremely well proportioned. Notice how the headlamp brackets are perfectly aligned with the top of the fuel tank. The size of the turn signals, which are almost undetected the first time we see it. Although the dirt tires may point this motorcycle as sort of a scrambler, everything else is completely cafe racer. And that is where this project makes the difference. Unlike the majority of all BMW R80 projects, this seat is one of the best cafe racer seats I've ever seen. It has a subtle shape. A very nice combination of two different materials. And it is very functional. Because the rear, can be used by a second rider. An excellent example, of how a simple project, can turn a BMW into something as beautiful as this one. But now I am going to finish this video, in a very different way from the usual. I want to share with you, something I bought very recently. No, not my Honda CB125. This year, I decided to offer myself, a very nice Christmas present. And here is how it sounds. Do you recognize it? Maybe a V-twin engine? Definitely a Honda CX650. And my answer to your mental question is, yes. This is the donor motorcycle, for my next cafe racer project. The only part that is not going to be removed or customized, is the engine. And why not the engine? Considering the way it revs, I think it is powerful enough already. Even because I don't need more, than 65 horses. It is going to be a very unique CX. This is what I can promise. For now, I am still waiting for some aftermarket parts, before I start the transformation. In the meantime, I'm taking the opportunity to get to know this machine. And I have to confess, I am really very happy with it.
the engine of the CX-650, is just superb. But here is a small demonstration. Oh yes. It sounds great, and runs even greater. I can't wait to see it done. But until then, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.